my father, you know. And it's the same thing, computer science. Second like upper in music. Yeah. yeah. You know, my father, he started to let me manage. He's retiring and he wants me to manage his multi billion dollar company. But Chrissy, that's not a problem. It's a password. <laughs>
sides. The effect of temptations, number one, it weakens your moral restraint. What does that mean? So now when you've done something before, your restraint in that area is, is, is weakened. Because you know, if you've never, when you go into a country for the first time, you know, like, you've never, or you've never driven to an area before, you drive slowly and carefully, and sometimes you don't go to certain things. But when you get used to it, you go in quickly. Yes. And so that's why when you have done certain things, it becomes easier and easier and easier to do it. So temptation, when you fall into it, makes your restraints and your barriers drop. And then certain things are much nearer and closer to you. All right? The next one, it weakens our spiritual sensitivity. All right? It weakens the sensitivity that you have towards certain things. Number three, temptations will harm the conscience of the novice. When you fall into temptations, you get it? You harm the, the, the what do you call it? Conscience of the novice. Are you there? The next one is that sin distorts your affection, all right, and redirects desires. Like, you see, if you start to do something, you fall into a certain kind of temptation, you find out that now your desires become abnormal. Instead of being a, a normal lady, when you see a man, you start imagining how it would be to sleep with him. Whereas many normal ladies don't have those imaginations. Just see a man walking by and say, wow, I wonder how it would be like for this man to lie on me. So sin distorts. Now sometimes you wonder, one time we had a, a brother came, you know, around and he was, he was saying that, listen, I have a strong desire for men. When I see a brother, I have a strong desire to have sex with him. As he's walking around, I'm desiring his anus. It's difficult to understand, but you see, when you get into certain things, your desires are distorted. You understand? And so, that there's a word in the Bible, it talks, it says, inordinate affection. Mortify therefore your bodies, your members which are upon the body, um, upon the earth, fornication and cleanness, and inordinate affection. Like you have a desire. Like, like for me, I never drank beer. I mean, I've tasted beer before, but I never drank it. So I don't have any desire. For it. I don't have the slightest desire for it. I never drank vodka. When I see somebody pouring, but I don't know what it is. I don't have a desire. You understand? But there are some people when they see, Ooh. but I do have a desire for Coca Cola. Because I have drank it before and several times. So the desire even for something dangerous like vodka or whiskey is not even with... I have not had my affections distorted. And inordinate means inappropriate. Uncontrolled, inappropriate, out of order affections. Do you understand? Hmm. And so sometimes you realize that as you have fallen into temptation... It has created a desire for something that you didn't have a desire for before. Zimbo. Zigzag. Are you listening or you've gone home? Alright. Then the next one effect of sin and when you fall into temptation is that it dulls your spiritual appetites. Alright. And so as your spiritual appetites are restored you shall be blessed. Amen. Finally, very finally tonight and the last little session that we are having is novices will see the scriptures fulfilled. And I want to give you some scriptures that you will see coming to pass. Amen. Number one. Are you there? In this world, you will have tribulation. You will see that it is true. No matter how nice your life is, you will see that it is true. John 16, 33. 
novices are you there are you there you will see that it is true this section is called novices will see that the scriptures will be fulfilled every novice will see that the scripture is true number two you will have prosperity but with persecutions if you serve God you will see at the end of the day that he has prospered you you will prosper whilst you serve God and you will not prosper overnight you will prosper in the way prosperity comes sowing and reaping alright is it possible to stop the flashing of the light are you there number three you will see the scripture being fulfilled or number two you see the scriptures being fulfilled and the scripture that you see you know can you turn this thing off whoever is doing that can, can one of you here get up there and turn off the light or find what is making it flash please all right just turn it off or on Okay, then that's fine. Right? You will have prosperity. You will prosper because Jesus said, But you shall receive a hundredfold now. And many of you cannot see how you receive a hundredfold when you serve God. You can't even see how it will be possible that you have a hundredfold. Now, in this time, houses, brethren, sisters, mothers, children, lands with persecutions. And then in the world to come, you have eternal life. I can tell you that when you start in the ministry as a novice, you can never see how you can prosper from this thing. I don't want to lie to you, but it is true. You can't see, but you, you will see that. What Jesus said that there is no man who has left lands, houses, brethren, whatever, but he shall receive lands, houses, brethren, sisters, brothers, with persecution in this life this life it, it has happened to me and it is happening to the people that have followed me into the ministry as we go along I see it all of them but as a novice you may not think so and I don't blame you because the beginning of the life of a novice it's not easy but you see when the lands and the houses come they come with persecution so when it has even come you you now you, you not even it will not it will not be as you thought it was that's also how it is mercy are you there or you've gone home the next one scripture that are going to be fulfilled have some blessings some prosperity it's not easy even to talk about them it comes with a whole lot of if I want to reduce the persecution. I had one person, somebody told me that oh he was he was somewhere a person said, I used to respect Bishop Dyke but Mills. But this week I I was so disappointed because I saw that he had gone to buy an Audi. Audi. Or the A6. This one, I, I heard it about seven, some seven years ago, eight years ago, I don't know how many years ago it was. So I used to respect him. And I saw that he had gone to Bernard and I lost all my respect for him. Hey! <laughs> because of a cow. Huh? It's, 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 it's our life there is a madman who lives near my house he comes in the mornings to stand in front of my house and shout in gun he said you, start, you think I am mad but I am not mad hey, he would talk. I don't know who exactly he is fighting against <laughs> all kinds of things you get it one day I went for a funeral with somebody. And I went to I went with my car. I That's why most of the time I'm going somewhere out of a family. I don't even go with my car. I go with 
people. So, Charlie, let's go. One day I went somewhere. They thought I was in a, a, a car. They came to the car and then I got out of another old car somewhere. That's how Saddam Hussein was. He'll come, you, you see 10, 10 Mercedes Benzes coming, then he'll come in a taxi. He'll just come with a taxi. You never think he's in the taxi or in an ambulance. You see, ambulance is passing. Not only that, he's in the ambulance. <laughs> And you see 10 Mercedes Benz, black, all of them are the same. And he comes in an ambulance, in another, somewhere else. He's moving. <laughs> anyway, I went to this place. When I got there, I heard some people talking. And they said, I remember exactly it was at Laboni. They said, hey, we all forgo from churches who? We, we go make church we, we, we all go we, we go get such cars we, we, we will get money as they look at us as we just came to park there as others have also parked too others have parked with their cars do, do you remember that it was I don't know if you remember it was in the day la money uh, it's, it's a pity that we, we, for, we for go from churches we will go get such cars. Now you will see that it is true. But you may not know that it is true until it has happened to you. So as novices, I'm informing you of I'm just giving you a few things that are, are, are definite. The day you hear somebody telling you you are a thief, remember today for serving God. When you were a young person like this and you had a future and you had everything that you could potentially do and you chose to serve God and leave everything with the potential of never always being poor and one day somebody starts to say that this man is a thief. I know that he's a thief. Don't be surprised because the scripture has to be fulfilled. When Jesus told Peter, you will deny me, he couldn't believe it. He argued, he said, look, Thomas, we go, Judas, and all this. I know, Jesus, I know what you are talking about. But for me. <laughs> so Jesus said, before the cock crows, because he wanted him to time his eyes with the cock crowing. So when Jesus, Peter denied Christ, then the cock was asked to crow. You see, even when you hear a bird, say, it's, it's, it's from God. Oh. So when the cock and Jesus turned, he says, Jesus was not with him. He said, By now he must have denied me. Because his words cannot fail. So he just turned to look. Peter, you just denied me, isn't it? Peter, you just denied me, isn't it? Okay, after after resurrection. After resurrection, we'll talk about it. <laughs> We'll discuss it after resurrection. I'll be back. Hasta la vista. Is that how they say it? Alright. The next one. You are going to discover that in marriage you will have trouble. No matter how sweet. And I'm 1 Corinthians 7 28. It says. But and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. Don't worry. And if a virgin marry, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. The Greek word is the word trepsis. But I spare you. So, when one day you are somewhere and you are experiencing troubles, Please look at my face clearly and remember. Say that I told you that you cannot marry without trouble. You cannot marry me without trouble. If you marry me, there'll be a lot of trouble for you. Because that is how it is. And if I marry you, no matter what you promise. That's how it is. It's wild. But I said, but I spare you. You go and marry. I spare you. So you are spared. Mercy. The next one. 
you are going to discover that you are not greater than your master. That one is also something that is guaranteed. The scripture says that the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. If you are my disciples or followers of me, you understand, in the ministry, you will discover that you are not greater than me. In terms of what you must see. If I saw it, you will see it. And if one day I sat in a nice car, one day you also sit in a nice car. Yeah. That's why you should want me to go higher and higher. So, Bishop, go higher because <laughs> we cannot be greater than you in a certain sense. So please go very high so that we can also go high. But a fool does not want his master to go high. He doesn't know that. As high as your boss, you see, like when you are the deputy assistant of the deputy of Bill Gates, you know, assistant, do you think you'll be earning 2.2 million CDs? You'll be earning millions of dollars a day because of how high your boss is. That is why it is important for President Kufor to be paid more. I am campaigning for President Kufo to be paid more and all presidents should be paid more and members of parliament should be paid more and ministers of state because as long as their salary is as ridiculous as it is you understand nobody can go above it officially what can a teacher have from minister deputy minister of this minister of that director of whatever up to a teacher in a school how much is he going to get Huh? And how about the cleaner? How much is the cleaner going to get? Oh. That is why Ghanaian doctors will be cleaners abroad. Because even a cleaner over there, because he's of the level, is higher than even a doctor here. Sometimes. I think now they've changed it a bit. The next one you are going to find out is that the days of man are few. Few. And full of trouble. Job 14.1 Man that is born of woman is of few days and full of trouble. Mercy. Another scripture that you are going to find out is that you are going to have to take up the cross. If any man come unto me, let him take up his cross. Novices. Are you seeing the scriptures you are going to experience? Mark 8.34 Alright? Another scripture that you are going to find that is true is that you are going to have to have some conflict with your family. Because the Bible says, if any man come unto me and hate not his father and his mother, is that your relative and your wife or your husband and your children and your brethren and your sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Yeah. I've had conflicts with my family because of the ministry and conflicts with my in-laws. If that one cries not here. In-laws because of the ministry that I wouldn't have had. I've had to ask I've had to use a lot of wisdom to know how to handle some things but I've left a lot of things to God and his power but if you think you are comes trouble free you, you want to come say my mother this is my father my mother in law my father in law my friend my friend my friend go back to do what you want to do go to Ariba go to where go to where Go to where Ariba. Ariba wants you free credits. Yeah. Number eight or number nine, whichever you have. The other thing you are going to see is that as the days go by, people's love for God is going to get smaller and smaller. You are going to look odd when you are on fire. You see that it's true because the scripture says because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So even though there are a lot of people, a lot of us sitting here, the love of many of us, many 
people it's going to get cold so you are going to find yourself more and more odd as the days go by I saw somebody taking a picture in Mexico on CNN A picture of naked people. 10,000 naked people. Did, did you see it on, on the television? The largest number of naked people together. He's taking, that is his, his job. And I think he had 12,000 or 15,000. Everybody gathered in a square in Mexico City. Claudia, did you see it? Everybody took off their clothes. They showed it on CNN. 12 or 15,000 men, women, everybody. He took off all their clothes naked and then the man took them took their picture and he's, he takes those pictures he has been arrested in america several times for that and the, you, you your reward for doing that is you get a copy of the picture and i'm sure he's a very rich man you see and the world is getting more crazy right here in ghana you have boys who are homosexuals for white people yeah the other day I saw somebody smoking weed and I, I went up to him I said why what are you doing so later someone told me said, it's cheaper to smoke weed than to smoke cigarettes yeah something that was expensive now is cheaper and you see that the guy was going crazy that's the world we are getting things are going to go bad. 11 year olds will be having sex you, sex, will, sex will become like handshake When you ask somebody, How many people have you shaken hands with? That's the number of people that you have slept with Yeah As we get on So you look more strange when you say I'm a virgin Or that you have had only one or two Oh, guy. The next one you are going to discover is that many are called, but few are chosen. Because even though we are many here, just a few will make it. Hey, it's a scripture that I don't really like. I mean, I like it because it's the word of God, but I wish it wasn't so. I wish many are called and many are chosen. And many are called and few are chosen. So as we go along, you will see that just a few make it. You see you people who are at the London camps, few will make it. Out of a lot of people who claim to be eager, out of the lost people, many, but few will be chosen. It will happen. It, that is what will happen. And whenever you see such a scripture, add yourself to the few. He said, look, this scripture, the way it is going, I better join the group the good, the positive side. Anytime you see a negative thing in the Bible, decide to be a member of the positive side and be very careful of the negative thing because it, it wants to happen to you right now. That thing I said, this scripture, it's trying to catch a lot of people here. Many are called, few are chosen. It's trying to catch you. How many realize that it's trying to catch you? If you realize that it's trying to catch you, raise up your hand. Huh. Wow. Another thing you are going to find out that is true, number 10, is that it is by the anointing. Ultimately, you will discover that it's only because of the anointing that anything else. All these steps have a vision, have a plan, uh, have, develop a team. Uh, don't change a winning team. And what? Strategy, have smart goals. Smart goal is what? Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic. And time bound. Have, have, have SWOT. S -s -s develop your strength. Avoid your weaknesses. Develop, eh? seize your opportunities. And avoid your threats. You, you see that it's not true. It's, it's not by SWOT or by SMART. Neither by SWOT or by SMART. Or by your team. Or by, neither by delegation or and you realize it's neither by any of these things you, you will find out that it's, it's as time goes on 
you will find all these things that the thing that is true is that it's not by might it is not by power but it is by my spirit says the Lord you, you will see that it's true Ish. but it's not so easy to believe because when you look at someone who is anointed somehow it almost looks as if it's natural like some of the things I'm sharing look as if maybe because I'm a doctor or maybe I am frank or maybe I am a choleric or maybe that's the way I talk so you, 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 it, it's easy to, to, to just disappear the, the concept of the anointing and you think that it's these things but as time goes on I, I tell you, you will find out that uh, there is nothing more true than the truth that everything that happens in God's work is by only one thing there is no principle at work except that it is his grace and his power and his anointing yeah. you will find out that it's true and when you find out you look back at me and you realize that yeah, it was nothing that only, it was only the anointing that the person was given some grace and some anointing that's what you find out but sometimes it takes years to come to that conclusion like me, when I see Benahim, I just look and say, Is there anointing? It's true. When I see Reinhard Bonke, when I see Billy Graham, I say, Look, it's only God who can, even for him to travel for years and still alive, and for him to even go and have a crusade, say that this is my last crusade in my life. <laughs> I mean, to reach such a place in the ministry, to say that I'm going for the last crusade, and the whole place is full at the age of 89 or 88 years old, the whole stadium is full. Everybody gathers. Huh? There's something about it. Something about it. But when you are young, you think that it's his money, it's his personality. It's because he sings. He sings, I am the Lord that he led thee. And he sings, he sings that I can feel the brush of angels' wings. I feel glory on his face. Surely the presence of the Lord is. is ah, because he sings. That. So you, you can have how to have miracles. Number one, sing hymns, sing songs. Okay. <laughs> to what? Have, follow. Wear white. Wear white. Are you writing, Paula? Wear white suits. Recruit a choir. Prolong your words like like what? Hallelujah. And then number five, learn to speak slowly. Huh? Get a female organist. Female organist must be with you. And have the same organist for many years. Yes? Worship all the time during the services. Are you writing it, Paula? Use it. Sing this sing song. Surely the presence of the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Lord, I am the Lord that He led thee. And what are that song? He touched me. How great thou art! These are the songs. Sing these songs. Next, next. What's the next step? Have pastors to sit with you on stage to co- cover the anointing. Have pastors to sit with you on stage. Huh? Have have an accent, a Middle Eastern or Palestinian accent. Speak like a Palestinian. Get an assistant to tell your testimonies. Have a better lighting, lighting system. Go on television every day. Ben Hinn is on television every day. Have, have one medical doctor. Have a lawyer to fight your law cases. When they sue you. Preach what? Preach faith on the first day. Salvation on the second day. And healing on the third day. Hey, move your headquarters to California. Move your headquarters. When, if your headquarters are Accra, move your headquarters. No, sell your church. That another one. Sell your church. Sell your church. Have a minstrel. Because Benny Hinn always had Alvin Slaughter and this, that, that, and all those people. Have a website. Have a website. Paul, are you getting these points? Have pastors' conference. Pastors' training for ministry. Pastors' conference. Have partners. Crusade partners. Open an orphanage in, in South America. Wear white. Wear white most of the time. Eh? Use what? Tents. No, no, he doesn't use tents. Have your own Benny Hinn Bible. So make your own Bible. 
Learn how to command sicknesses. A magazine. Have a magazine with your testimony. Does Benihin have a magazine? I don't know about. Use a dove at the sign and put a dove on your on your coat, on your jacket. Pray for your ashes to fall. <laughs> hey. huh? Cry when you are preaching. Please write that. Down. Cry when you are preaching. Learn hymns. Learn English hymns. Cry. Cry when you are preaching. Believe God for gray hair. Comb your hair sideways. Look, somebody should get me a comb so that I start I start turning my head this way. Communicate with your partners every month. Huh? Free gifts for partners. Pray for eight hours for one year. Ah! Don't ask for. Don't charge at crusades. Don't talk to your friends before a crusade. Don't stay in the same room with your wife when you are having a crusade. Hey! So these are all steps to becoming an evangelist. But what you will find out, because we have another evangelist who does opposites. That's, you see, that's what I've noticed like Billy Graham. Doesn't have no miracles. Doesn't have a white suit. Doesn't have these partners. Doesn't have any television ministry every day. Doesn't sing any song at all. He doesn't have a Palestinian accent. Doesn't talk slowly. He has no flowers on stage. He doesn't have a female organ. He doesn't have even any organist. No large choir. Has no large choir. And that's Billy Graham. And he is supposed to be the one who has had the most crowd ever. Another person, Bonke, he's not on television every day. He goes to the village, huh? No English accents, the German. Yeah. So, which one are we going to follow? That's what I'm saying that after you've been around for some time, you come to see that, look, the thing is, it's not by the steps, but it is by something that is invisible. Yeah. But. When you are a bit younger, you, you think that it is these things. Because you see, it, 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 let's say if it's the white suit, you, you really like the white suit. And you see, ah, but Pastor Chris also has a white suit. Pastor Chris has a white suit and Benny Hinn has a white suit. And he also sings. And he has a choir just like that. So it looks similar. So it looks like when you get this white suit, I mean, you are on your way to the. He has the same hairstyle, something to the side. It's, oh, thanks. Uh, you will find out that what the scripture says that it's not by might it's not by power but by my spirit you see that it's very true at a certain point in your life when you've been around for some time you see that marriage is not by beauty yeah. because you've been in the church for long now you see that this person is getting married but this one no beautiful yeah. I talked to one sister. She said to me, no, no one has ever proposed to me. She's a nice girl. I mean, in terms of beauty, she's as beautiful as, as, as you can have a, a person. As beautiful as any of you here. She said, no one has ever, 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 ever. I'm talking about pre-Christian, intra-Christian, and post-Christian. No, she's still a Christian. No one has ever said, Hi, baby. It seems your face is familiar. What's the chatting line? You say, it seems your face is familiar. I like your hair. Do you live in this area? Eh? You look like my younger sister. Eh? You know, you smell good. It's too, too deep. Can I give you a lift? No one has ever asked her that before. Were you in a, 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 is it Achimota or something girls schools? Ah, ah in fact, the problem. yeah, 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 that's the one. No one. Hey! Another thing that you're going to discover. And the Lord said unto Aaron, 
I have given thee the charge of my heave offerings and of all the hallowed things. And to thee I have given them by reason of the anointing. You will come and see Numbers 18 verse 8. I have given these things to you by reason of the anointing. Even the heave offerings and the money that you have, it has been given to you by reason of the anointing. Numbers 18 verse 8. Many are called, you will see that Matthew 22 14 is true. Matthew 24 verse 12 Because iniquity shall abound You shall see that it is true Another one you are going to see is that There are many types of ministers That at first you think that it's only one type Because you are going to see that There are many vessels When the Bible says in a large house There are many vessels You are going to find out that there are so many jobs So many jobs in God's vineyard For all of us To do we must witness to everyone we meet in every song we sing. We must tell them the soon and coming king. No, how does this go? We, we must work while it is day, spreading the word of God as we walk along. The way we must be to do His will, spreading the word of God till it reaches the everyone. We must witness to everyone with every song we sing. We must tell. Sing the verse, the one that says there are so many jobs in God's vineyard. The harvest is plenty and the laborers are few. Sing it, sing it from the top again. The harvest I'm growing. I've seen so many jobs in God's vineyard. That's why there are so many even ladies who have something to do. There are so many jobs in God's vineyard for all of us to do. Is it not beautiful? Amen. There are so many jobs in God's vineyard for all of us to do. We must witness to everyone. Is it, is it not so beautiful? And that's why you're going to find out that there was actually something for you to do. Maybe you were not preaching like me, but there was something for you to do. Maybe you were not singing like great, but there was something for you to do. But you really believe it. It was so true that everybody, no matter how down the person is, and no matter how different the person is, there is something that everyone should do. And that, that in a large house, there are so many vessels, small, big, cup, size, whatever. Kind of type of vessel. There is something. Yeah. So many jobs in God's vineyard for all, all of us to do. We must witness we want we need in every song we sing. We must tell them all. So when you go to obey God, one day you will grow up. And you say, you know, I could have done this, this, what this girl did, but I didn't do it. You grow up and say, you know, I could have, I could have gone, but I didn't go. 
Your friend has said, I could have done something. But as you get older and all the things we preach about and the delusions have come true, yes. you will look and say, my goodness, it was true. And this thing that this person is doing, I could do. Do you know everybody in my office who works for me, all my secretary, all the people who work for me, they are all replacements. I can show you everyone who works for me, I can show you who was originally, the person yes. originally supposed to do that work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. In fact, on, on Tuesday, I was talking with someone and she said to me, Bishop, I was the first person who was supposed to work with you. Yeah, and it was true. She said, I, 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 I applied. I said, yes, you applied. And she said, I was so sad when you rejected me. I said, we didn't reject you. I said, we couldn't afford you. You were too expensive. She said, it's the same thing. I said, it's not the same thing. When you say, I rejected you. I didn't reject you. You, we, you, you could not jump over the, the pole jump. vault <laughs> and the long jump. Years ago, I needed somebody, but you couldn't make it. But as you grow older, you realize that. I could have done it, you know. I would have still been alive by now. And the person who is doing my job, it's still, she's, the person seems to be okay. The person also seems to be happy. Everybody I have is a replacement. Even Bishop Saki is a replacement of somebody. I had somebody else before that. In terms of who was my right-hand man <laughs> in the church. It's not him. He, he, he took over somebody long time ago. Okay. So stand in your place where, place where oh. sister brother, because you'll find out that <laughs> there are people who are trotting and hoping. Every time they come to church, they are looking at you to see whether you are well. Lord, what's going to happen? How are you going to do it? Grace is not my first singer. No, no, no. 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 My, my first singer is not here. I would still be singing with her. I was very sad when she went away. Because I love it, you know. Don't you enjoy the mixture of the music in the... There's a song always that helps something. I was very sad when my singer went. I didn't know how will I have somebody to help me. Because I don't like a lot of singing, some particular type of singing. So she came along and she sang, sing it. She sang the song. In Kumasi, I was in Kumasi. And she was singing. Sing it. She was a student. Very little. She's skimpily dressed. Standing on stage and she sang. Beautiful. I said, be magnified. So when she, be magnified is a special song for his hair. Introductory song. Wow. That's what earned her a way in. I said, can you say? I said, wow. 
but I didn't know. She was coming in. There's something for her to do. I don't even know what she learned in school. I think I heard she did French. But I don't, it doesn't matter. She could, she could have done Portuguese. It, it <laughs> One time, she was working in the office and, and she, was, she was not working well and her boss was not happy to her and her boss was disciplining her. Then one day I talked to the boss, I said, Mr. Boss, this one is my singer. Take your time. She's here for singing. That's why she's here. So I said, punish her small, but it's up to a point. Hey, there is something for everybody to do. But you may not sing that way. Yeah. You'll be surprised. I have people who don't sing, but they're important. More important even than that. So you can sit there and say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't sing. Be my <laughs> I have made you too small in my heart. Hey! Cannot do that. So there's not. No, 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 no. It's not true. One day when you grow up, you see there was something I could have done. I could have done it. I didn't. I, I thought it wasn't true. I thought it wasn't true. But you'll find out that there are so many. So there was something for you to do, but you didn't do it. You'll find out there was a country for you, but you didn't go. You find out there was a town that you didn't go. You will live to see that it's true. And especially as you get older, you'll see, oh my God, it's over my life. You'll find the scripture says that the days of man are few. When I look at myself in the mirror, I say, hey, I'm just, I see my sons are like this. I say, the days of man are few because I feel the same. This, this is my school. I'm standing in my school. It was like yesterday. I come here all the time. I know the roads. I know everywhere. This is my school. Huh? It looks the same. After a few water tanks, it looks the same. <laughs> There's something for you to do. There was a place. There was a place you didn't go. You see that it was true. There was a town. It was a town that was that would have received you, but you didn't go because you thought there's nothing for me to do and I'm not up to it. Huh? Yeah. There's something. There is, I tell you, and the devil will sit by you and say, There's nothing for you. You know, you know yourself. There's nothing for you. Yeah, it's nothing for you. So, so you can you cannot sing. Even when you try to sing, it doesn't cannot work. You know, like me, I can play instruments, but I cannot play as well as these people. And and many things that I, not even that I can't. I, there are things they do that I cannot do. But there is something that I know in music that they don't know, and I'm always guiding them, and they know it. Even for me to see Grace, she will not even be here. She will be working at State Insurance. Okay. Snakes. If she had a job. True or not true. Yeah. But even to see that this person can sing. And I saw her, I said, she can sing. And, but you see, I don't want just a singer. I also want somebody who is spiritual somebody who loves God and somebody who is not a strange woman so it's important to know there are questions I have to ask her that the answers don't have to be one or two she cannot answer she cannot answer that question and stay here in a mystical way no hey you should even be afraid for us for us a one or two Persons ride around singing. Hey! Mwah. There is something for everybody to do. 
Are you there? Or you want to go home? Ah, well, some of us need to go home. You will find out. There was, some, there was somewhere. Me, they laughed at me in my preaching. Is he powerful? But there was something for me to do. Is he powerful? When I was going to officiate Bishop Saki's wedding, it was my first wedding. His relatives asked, Pastor Dag, is he powerful? Or you're powerful? And that's how they say, Or you're powerful. When I heard it, I was so discouraged and disturbed. What are they expecting at the wedding? Wedding to what are they expecting? What are they expecting me to do at the wedding? I had not officiated a wedding before, it was my first time. And the people are asking that, Is he powerful? What sort of power am I going to use? A wedding that we are officiating, is, is, there, is there a power in it too? Uh, the next one you are going to find out that you need the manna. Daily bread. Many of you don't have quiet time daily. You are going to find out that without it, you can never amount to anything in God. Daily. Bible. The next thing you are going to find out is that prayer. You cannot stay without prayer. You, you may not think that it changes much because when you were an elder, you didn't pray much, but things were working. And you will find out that there is nothing like life and ministry without prayer. Another thing you are going to find out is that signs and wonders are true and wonderful things that must follow the word of God. If we are to fulfill the ministry of the Lord, signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Another thing you're going to find out is that when you don't honor your father, it will never be well with you. No matter which school you went to and how much money you have, you will find it out. You will also discover another. How many points do you have? Another thing you are going to discover Is that if you honor your father It will be well with you And that you will live long and survive for a long time May God honor you And may he bless you And encourage you In Jesus name Stand up We've closed All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't worry. Hey, there are so many jobs. How many realize that God is telling you something that you are going to find out that there were many jobs, but you didn't take your job? Lift your hands up. Father, thank you. For your blessing and your word and your spirit and your life to us. We agree. Just speak to the Lord in a moment. Father, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take us from being novices to becoming, oh God, men of reputation that have been proved and tested and tried thank you for testings we count it all joy because you are great you are beautiful we lift up our hands and we thank you Lord thank you for revealing to us about strange women thank you for saving us from our own selves Lord we love you we thank you and we praise you in Jesus name Father I pray for your little ones raise them up Lord to serve you one day even those who go away let them come back one day and serve you even if they don't serve you in lighthouse let them serve you somewhere let them have their hands full of the sheaves of the harvest let their hearts be with you may they love you may they follow you may they follow the Lord may they serve you may they serve no other gods may they serve no foreign gods but serve you only 
we lift up these wonderful children. Father, save us tomorrow in the, the evil day when there is a temptation and in the day of the testings and the trials and the difficulties, the poikilos varieties of testings and shakings and stirrings. Help, Lord. We are praying for angels to be sent. Father, like how you have helped me many times and protected me and kept me from evil by your angels that you sent many, many times to save me from my own self, to rescue me, to keep me. Hey, God, I pray for your children. I pray for your sons. I pray for your anointed ones that you have poured your oil into their spirit already and have already called and have already commissioned. I pray for them, Lord. Please, please, let it not be too hard. Let it not be too long. Somehow, like Peter was prayed for, and he may he may not fall. I pray for them that they they may survive, and that you keep them, Lord, in the hour when the wicked one shall be released to have a way with us. Keep us, Lord. Cause us to go from victory to victory. From anointing to anointing. Lord, the things that are true that we cannot change, help us to discover them quickly that they cannot be changed. I thank you, Lord. Raise them up, Lord, I pray. This is all I ask. Make them readers, listeners, followers. Devoted ones Anointed to serve you We lift our hands Just thank God right now Thank God for his mercies His anointing His grace Oh Oh Oh